of you. Well, let me just ask you a question. Have you ever been in your house before trying to have a Bible study and just had a little trouble focusing on the Word? Anybody ever have anything like that happen? Anybody? Is it not the craziest thing what happens when you begin to read the Scripture? Just the, the attention span problem. Just the ability to stay awake. The fact that you end up trying to read the scriptures, the same verse, over and over and over and over before you can ever finally get the meaning of it. And it's so weird because it doesn't happen when you watch a movie. It doesn't happen when you just watch television or the news. You're just fine. No problem concentrating. But take out the word of God and see what happens to your mind. Well, tonight... I just want to show you a little bit the reality of what may be happening in your Bible studies. And I want to just show you how to deal with the devil. So come on in my house. We're going to have a Bible study together. I'm just going to have to demonstrate. I can't just tell you. i got to show you. You know how that works. <sighs> I think tonight, let's, I, think, I think I want to go to one of my favorite books. The book of Ephesians. Hmm, Ephesians, the sixth chapter. I like it. Yeah. Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the cunning devices of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, spiritual wickedness in high places, for the wrestle not against but we wrestle not against flesh and blood flesh and blood but against but against principalities and powers against the rulers of darkness this world we wrestle not against flesh and blood wickedness in high places or the weapons of our warfare wrestle not against The weapons of our warfare. Wait. We just run out against flesh by wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the. and that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. I wouldn't last. You said I'd be returning to my actions of the past. And with the crowd I used to run with, saying the things I used to say. But I wish you'd stand back. You take a look at me today. You see, Satan, you're a liar. I remember when you spoke through someone You said I would not last two weeks Oh, but I've walked with the master Through the 
flood and through the fire. And if I've learned anything at all, I have learned that you're a liar. You're a liar. Satan, you're a liar. Oh, you, you should know by now. I know you are a liar. You see, there is one thing you can't deny. You're the father of every lie. Cause you're a liar, Satan. world except my friend and yet still you've got the courage the nerve to come around and bother me again it's just you tell me that i'm not born again and heaven is not reality and jesus christ he's not the son of god well satan listen real good to me you're alive satan you're alive Father of every life, cause you're a liar, Satan. I know what you are. Jesus told me what you are. He said you are a liar. Satan, you're a liar. I remember when I was sick. You told me I wasn't gonna get well, but you're a liar, Satan. You told me I wasn't good enough for a long time, but you're a liar, Satan. Jesus, 